This is KSWO TV, Channel 7 in Lawton and Wichita Falls. You can count on us. An out of control SUV plows through a woman's bedroom just seconds after she left it. I don't see how it could be survivable. But both the woman and driver of the Jeep did. Fort Till soldiers track and take aim at manned enemy planes, the smallest built. It's like sitting on a ping pong ball trying to keep it balanced and headed in the right direction. We take you to Sill's first air defense exercise ever. And after temperatures in the 80s and 90s today, some cooler temperatures on the way. Your latest Skywarn 7 forecast straight ahead. Live from Lawton, Fort Sill, broadcasting across Texoma, this is 7 News Tonight. An Altus woman narrowly escaped probable death this morning. An SUV plowed right through her house, right into a room she had just left. It happened around 9.30. Police say the SUV drifted through four lanes of traffic on North Park Lane. Then it drove through a couple backyards, three chain link fences, and right into the brick house. That is tonight's big story. 7 News reporter Garrett Cryer tracked down the woman who narrowly escaped the out of control SUV. Garrett, what did the woman tell you about the accident? Jan and Dave, she said the car slammed into the room as she was walking out. It was so close, she says a drawer nicked her back leg before she left the room. When fire engines arrived on scene shortly before 9.30 this morning, this is what they found. A Jeep had driven through this house where a woman and her family lived. Not only that, the woman who was driving the SUV was still trapped inside the vehicle. Emergency crews had to get the woman out of the Jeep through the back of the vehicle because the sides were smashed in. I, ho I just I hope the lady that was driving the van is, is okay. I just I hope she makes it. Sonny was inside her house when she heard at least two loud booms. If you see the damages, I, I don't see how it could be survivable. There's somebody inside of either room of that house where that car went through. I mean, it's like a bomb went off in there. Altus Police Chief Mike Patterson says it's a miracle no one was killed. He says the car had to have been going at least 50 to 60 miles an hour when it left the road. It's, it's there's a, something strange about it, you know, for someone to drift across four lanes of traffic, you know, and then across, it's like 389 feet through the, the yards. And In the meantime, Sonny is left to clean up the mess that was her home and worry about the driver that did it. I'm okay, I'm fine, and God will take care of us, and I just hope she's okay. Chief Patterson tells me the woman in the Jeep was able to talk when she was pulled out of the wreckage. Patterson says from what police have seen so far, the driver never showed any evidence of breaking through the whole ordeal. Back to you. Now, Sonny and her family will have a place to live for the next few days. The Red Cross is helping them out. As to why the SUV went out of control, Chief Patterson says investigators are still, still rather trying to figure that out.